we have to make sure that we are making a good clinical decision on who we're going to do this with um, and make sure that you guys protect yourselves in that <coughs> clinical decision making. So if you have any question, just don't do it, okay? Do the knee, it's a lot farther away. Do some other, maybe you just do the rotations with them or maybe you don't even do manual and you do some of the other techniques that you can to help improve their thoracic mobilization, okay? So I can come in this way. I'm gonna need you to scoop forward. <coughs> so you're gonna have to get on. So I'm using, because I want him to lay back and over, okay? So like a you guys want me to off. face you this way now? Okay, so the idea is that I'm going to kind of use my body to give him that thoracic extension throughout his spine, whereas we were going more local, now I'm going a more global influence, okay? So Chad, we're going to still do that same thing. Keep your hands behind your head though as we do it, all right? So you're going to load into it, good, and then you're going to open up towards the ceiling, pushing through my chest into his chest as we're going, okay? Things I need to watch out for is that I'm not just pushing him forward, okay? Because now I'm not getting thoracic spine mobilization, I'm just pushing him onto the floor, okay? So if he's here, I'm gonna load into that, and I really want him to press, 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 and then come back down. Any pain with that? No. Perfect, okay? Let's do two more, okay? So he's gonna come down. I give a little bit of overpressure to prep the system for the movement, and then he's gonna exhale, come all the way back. And then back down, good. One more, open, open, open. Okay. Now let's see, retest it. Better. Better. Okay. I'm 